Hi everyone, I hope that all of you have a very nice day today. Today, I will share a little bit on this tutorial about how to set up your SBish on your working station. Okay, I already divided into two parts, which is part one is uh, pre-setup, shows how, uh, how to download your SBish folder from the DataRest website, what file you need to download. Okay. After that, uh, for the part 2, uh, I will share how you need to create your bat file so you can run your model there afterward. So, okay, on this tutorial also, I will give uh, additional information what type of file or the setup uh, or the thing that you need uh, before you run your XFish. Okay, I will share a little bit about that at the end of the video. Okay. For the part 1, first of all, you need to go to the website of the open source of data rest. So here, I give you the website. Okay. Okay. Just type it. Okay. Uh, oos.datarest.nl slash web sbish home. Okay. I will open it for you. Okay. Here is the website for open sources. So you does not need to log in. Okay, after you open this website, you can go to download. So you can open the release and source. Okay, just click here. Okay, after that, you already click. They are giving a few. Okay, uh, firstly, the source code. And also, you can download the pre-compiled uh, build. So, for the easy one, if you does not know how to compile or so to set up yourself, you just can just go to pre-compile build and just download it. Okay, just click the link. Okay. Okay, just wait a little moment. Okay, so after you already open uh, the link, okay. Uh, it will show you uh, the open source of SBish. Okay, there are a few type of file that you can download uh, according to your preference of Windows and also what output that you want. Okay, so my suggestion here, you can choose the NetCDF output. Uh, if you want to do in MPI, also can. If you just uh, using one core, is also okay. So uh, for me, I will download here the 2018 version of the ISWish, okay, netzdf.zip, okay, uh, click on download. So we, we wait for it to complete the download, alright, in zip file. Okay, after you finish the download, okay, simply open the zip file. Okay, after you open your zip file, okay, just continue to extract it. Uh, for example, here I will put my D. Okay, so I will create a new folder. Okay, I will rename it to the version that I have. Okay, for example, it's like this. Okay, so SP uh, version. Uh, one point two three point five five two seven. Okay, so I will extract. Okay. Okay, after the extract, so you just check your. Uh, okay, so this all the file that you already download from the website. Uh, all right. Uh, okay, so we continue to our. Uh, second part which is to create a bat file so you can call uh, the extension here the sbish application okay, here uh, so you can run your model all right so to create the bat file first we need to go and open a notepad okay so what you need to do just type call all right as all a small upper bit Alright, okay, open code and then type, uh, okay, 
the easy thing is you just go here and sorry okay copy all right paste okay but you need to add uh, as uh, an extra information at the back which is slash all right you can see here your speech application here so you just type it at speech dot exe okay at speech dot exe okay close all right after that you can save okay save it as uh at speech underscore model all right uh, we also already also save it here for safekeeping okay so you can see here as which model .txt. we need to change it to back so we need just click rename so you can just type b a t okay yes here all right uh, part one and part two already finished okay so this come to the next part which is the additional uh, thing that you need to have okay here already show you okay first you need to have the bad file so here okay first item already check okay on the next video i will teach you about how to create the grid file okay i will explain in more detail on the next video okay after that i will continue how to create the depth and also how to create the ne layer which is not the non erodible layer uh, he have a same process with the depth file also okay after that i will continue on type and wave parameter how do i extract it or or where to we we can get the tidal data or the wave parameter the wave height something like that okay uh, also i will show you how to generate your params that what parameter that you need to tackle when you are doing the exhibit whether hydro uh, hydrodynamic or the morphodynamic part okay so i will show uh, in other separate video so stay tuned for the exhibit part okay i hope i hope that all of you are understand well if you have any question uh, just throw it down okay i will respond uh, as soon as possible i hope all of you can are eager to learn about speech 